In this video, we are looking at random sampling, random sampling explained. Now, the question is, what is random sampling? Now, this is a very reliable way of sampling the population, uh, and it is used uh, as very popular, used by Soviet companies, marketing companies, to get a sense of what the market looks like, to get a sense of what uh, the uh, population thinks about their products. Now, there are a few things we need to know about random sampling. And the first thing is there is a population, right? This is a population. And you want to know something about this population. So let's say this is a population of uh, uh, school kids. And they are up to uh, 1,000 school kids, right? Um, and you want to know something about this number of school kids. For example, kind of lunch. Uh, this is lunch, right? The kind of lunch they, will, they, will, they will prefer. There's a menu out there and you want to know what their preference is. But you don't want to ask the entire 1,000. That would be too much. And you don't need to ask the entire 1,000. And that's where random sampling comes in. So we'll put that here. So now we have random sampling. And in random sampling, as the name suggests, random, right? That means we're not deliberate in picking the sample. Now we have to determine what is the sample size of the 1,000 that we need, right? So we determine that we just need 30%, 30% of the 1,000. That's equals to 300. So now the next uh, tax, tax is to choose 300 from the 1,000. And again, that's where random sampling comes in. And so that means we put all 1,000 names in a bucket. This is a bucket. Okay. And all 1,000 names in the bucket, and it is shoveled pretty well, and we pick randomly 300 names. 300 names from the bucket. And once we have our 300 names, right, that is the picked randomly, we have our sample. So 300 names equals to sample. This is a sample, and this sample is what we call representative of the 1,000. They represent the 1,000, represent, representative of the 1,000, okay? Now, each one of uh, the, uh, the 1,000 students, each one of them in the bucket, their names in the bucket, had uh, equal chance to be chosen equal chance right and because they had an equal chance to be chosen it means that there was no selection bias no selection bias it wasn't there it was fair it was straightforward and and uh, we can take the results that we get eventually okay so now we are set for the actual survey to be given to the sample. And again, the sample is a 300, the 30%. So number three, we survey the sample and ask them what they would like for lunch and ask them for the different um, menu out there for lunch, right? So let's say out of the 300, this is the result, out of the 300, 250 say they like um, spaghetti, right? They like spaghetti for lunch and meatballs. Let's put that here. Meatballs for lunch. Now, 250 out of 300 is 83%. So 83% of the sample say they want or they like 
spaghetti and meatballs for lunch. Right, so now we can take this result and say, and make a conclusion about the 1,000 students, right? About the 1,000 school kids. We can say, uh, uh, make a statement here, uh, the school kids, school kids prefer, right, spaghetti and meatballs for lunch. We can say that now with confidence. Why with confidence? Because everyone had an equal chance to be chosen and there was no selection bias. So this preference, the 83% that we are using to generalize about this population is reliable. It's reliable because of the method was, it was reliable, bias-free, and we can take the outcome and generalize uh, to the uh, population that we're trying to study. That is random sampling.